This is a question you can be certain is going to be on almost all of your check rides. Today we're going to talk about currency versus proficiency. Currency. This is something that you're going to see in the FARs all the time. For just about every rating you get, there's a definition for what is exactly required to be current in that aircraft. And you seeing it in the FARs is almost the definition of that word. Currency is what is legal to do in an airplane in respect to how we keep ourselves um, flight ready with those specific requirements. Currency requirements are the bare minimum that you can do to maintain um, standardization in each of these ratings. So for private, the currency requirements only even apply if you're carrying passengers. And that's going to be three takeoffs and landings in the same category class within the previous 90 days. And at night, they have to be obviously logged at night appropriately and to a full stop. The only other currency requirement associated with private pilot is our flight review, which has to occur every 24 calendar months. And there's a couple other things that you can substitute in lieu of a flight review, um, but for the most part, that's what we're gonna do. Instrument, you have a whole nother set of requirements. Commercial, you got a different set of requirements, right? And the thought process behind this is that, especially if you're gonna be carrying other people, or if you're just flying for fun, that you're able to maintain a certain degree of success and competency in the aircraft. Now, proficiency isn't defined anywhere. It's defined by you. And that's exactly why we have stuff like a personal minimums checklist. That is going to go through your proficiency and you can um, use that as a living document and consistently improve on that personal minimums checklist so that you can be proficient in more types of operation. For instance, if I want to be proficient in an aircraft, I have to have flown that aircraft before with a flight instructor. At least that make and model, maybe it's one hour, maybe it's five hours, depending on your personal minimum. Maybe I will have needed to use the same types of avionics that are in that aircraft. Maybe I have to have used the avionics in the actual aircraft that I'm going to use. Maybe I have to have so much time in a retractable gear or with a constant speed. And a lot of these might sound like insurance requirements, and in most cases they are. If you're going to go fly at a flight club, Club, or even on your own aircraft, the insurance companies are going to want to make sure that you have a certain amount of proficiency in that aircraft. And rather than coming up with your own proficiency requirements just from the ground up, look at some of those insurance requirements or talk to your friends or look online. That will help you kind of gauge what you need to do in order to stay safe in the aircraft. So currency is what's going to be legally required for you to operate that airplane. And proficiency is what's going to keep you safe in it. And so that's the difference between currency and proficiency. If you have any questions on those two topics, leave us a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.